Check this. Hello, this is Socially Triggered, and this video is going to be on white power. Now, it's not the type of white power that comes from the people, but uh, it's the white power that comes from milk. Milk actually has its historical significance in terms of allowing one group to conquer another group. And what happened was, the story I'm going to tell you is actually the story of the Mongols. So there will be no white people in this story, just Asians. <laughs> um, the story of the Mongols is actually very interesting. Uh, the Mongols actually could drink milk into adulthood. And that gave them a very interesting power. Uh, they were trying to take over the Chinese Empire. And the Chinese Empire uh, had about a million soldiers. And... Uh, compared to the Mongols, who had about 100,000. So about 10 times uh, the military might. But the Mongols were able to win. And the reason they were able to win was because of white power, the, the whole ability to drink milk into adulthood. Now, the, the Jin army, which was the Chinese, uh, they could not drink milk. So what happened was, they would, uh, when they would go to war, they would use their horses to basically carry the food that they would need uh, rather than the soldiers. They would use it to pull the carts with all the food and provisions that they would need when they're going into war. Now the Mongols, they could drink milk and they rode on their, their food really. Uh, what happened was they could drink horse milk. So the horses that they were riding on were their food source. They could drink the milk from the horses. So what they would do is every, every soldier in the, in the Mongol army could, uh, could be riding on a horse, which gave them a huge tactical advantage because you know they didn't have to have these big caravans transporting food. They could literally ride on their food. <laughs> So they, and everybody, everyone that was on a horse was a soldier. So, so instead of having many of the military devoted to just maintaining the military, they, they could, every soldier was a soldier and could fight and, and uh, act accordingly. But the big advantage of riding on horses is it's much faster. Uh, you, you, you have the ability to get to places very quickly, get somewhere, strike, get somewhere else, strike there. <laughs> so they, they could be really uh, slippery, um, you know, compared to the Jin army of the Chinese that really it took a lot of time to move from one location to the next. So it was just, it, it, was, it was revolutionary in terms of what milk did to uh, the, the Mongols compared to the inability to drink milk that the jinn had to endure. So this is a quick little story <laughs> about how milk uh, actually led to uh, one group actually being able to conquer another group. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> story about white power and um, the story of milk. I hope, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I look forward to your comments. Bye. Check this.